is Jake Kraft with VeryEntrepreneur.com. Today we've got a uh, special guest, Guy Dumas from The Design House. So Guy, uh, tell me a bit about your business. The business is exclusively architectural design, focusing on um, custom residential architecture. Uh, mostly stuff on the lake and in uh, golf course resorts, that sort of thing. How long, so how long have you been uh, in business? I've been doing this since uh, 1990 and uh, worked for another company, uh, Canada's largest uh, housing exporter, uh, for five years uh, when I decided and was um, enthusiastically encouraged, encouraged to go out and get my entrepreneurial gig on and uh, they said if it didn't work out I could come back and here we are some 15 years later after that. and. Uh, you never know. <laughs> I hope the invitation is still open. <laughs> um, who are some of your best customers, if you want to name like a, a pocket full? Early on in my career, I had a, uh, a home, custom home builder that did a lot of his own work. He was looking for some help, and uh, shortly after graduation, uh, he asked uh, to see if I'd be able to give him a hand with some of that. So the company out of Craighurst called uh, Crown Point Homes, who has done a lot of custom work in the Horseshoe Valley area and down on the lake here in Barrie and south of here and uh, I got to thank him for having taught me how to how to design super nice custom homes and he finishes like uh, no other. Um, I think most of our clients these days are uh, individuals uh, that come to us. Uh, some of them are referred by builders, some of them are just referred by uh, previous customers, but uh, I'd have to say that uh, now most of most of our business is purely referral. So no one big builder, uh, as most large custom builders don't do a number of projects. So when you get into these multi-million dollar projects, uh, most builders only do two or three a year. So that's my biggest single uh, customer. If someone's watching this and is in the market for some of the services that you provide, what separates you from the competition? I think that, I mean, because this is sort of entrepreneurial based, I think that to my detriment, uh, I think the way that I run my company is with a lot of thought towards what my clients uh, need, want, uh, and deserve. And I think that's what separates uh, me and my company from, I guess, most of the competition. Uh, that and the number of years of experience and the number of projects. So 20 years in the business. Uh, we did a count the other day. I think we're in around 2,300 completed projects with no subdivisional work. Uh, and I've worked on projects in Japan and Germany, China, all over the States, all over Canada. Um, we're doing our first job this year that's going to Nigeria, of all places. Um, so, and level of certification, and even, even among some of the... Uh, the highly touted professionals, I think, uh, still, if you look at level of certification um, on ministry websites, I don't even know anybody there who's uh, certified. Guy, what do you like about owning or about operating your business in the Barrie area? Uh, I think the Barrie area has got this really neat mix of diversity. There's the, the waterfront. Uh, I was raised uh, in Quebec City, and uh, there was a lot of exposure and interaction with the water. And when I came to Barrie to do some schooling, uh, it was uh, it was about the same thing. So there's a lot of very waterfront community and tons of golf courses. And that's all super neat work for, for a company like mine. It's exciting stuff. Um, so and there's a there's a there's growing diversity of uh, um, uh, in Barry, and I think that'll that'll be good in the long run as well. So I'm looking forward to more of that. Just to, uh, just to give people a bit more insight as far as you personally, what, uh, what, is, what is one of the favorite places you like to go to eat? See, well, if, if, if Jay's been doing this right, we've been filling this from the waist up. <laughs> but I love to eat. <laughs> oh, where do I like to eat? Um, I'm a sushi junkie. Uh, so uh, there are a couple good places in town. It's really bad if I send people to Bradford. No, not okay. at all. There's, <laughs> There's a really uh, neat, I think it's called Akita Sushi. It's right on Highway 88, just outside of Bradford. Um, and uh, it's remarkably good quality sushi. I'm used to kind of being in Toronto from years ago. And so there, I love steak, so I'm a keg junkie. Um, although my understanding is they closed for lunch, so I gotta find some new lunch gig. 
Um, gosh, where else is Barry? Um, I've been really young family, so I, I can't always head into places like Shutters or um, it's, it's, places. It's down more of the uh, the McDonald's scene. That <laughs> <laughs> I drag us in early on a Sunday to uh, like Montana or something or Kelsey's before everybody really gets there. So get in and get out before trouble gets started. But uh, yeah, I think you know I think the keg and if you were to look at my accounting um, bills, you'd probably see the keg and the Sakita sushi. I'm waiting on a phone call from my buddy. We're supposed to go to sushi tonight. Right on. <laughs> Where can people go to uh, to find out more about the, pro the services that you provide um, and how they could contact you? My uh, website is uh, thedesignhousearch.com. So that's probably the best place to find out some information. And I'm always happy to give people uh, referrals and testimonials for customers that we've done in the past. So that's where most of our business comes from. So the office number is 735-0797, uh, Erico 705. It's a great place to get a hold of me. Well, I want to thank uh, Guy for coming out, even enduring this inclement weather that we're uh, broadcasting today from. But um, And I also want to thank everybody for checking out BarryEntrepreneur.com. Come back again. <laughs>